Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how to enable or disable button using JavaScript. By the end of the video you will have this sort of output. You can see I got two radio buttons here. The first one is enable, the second one is disable. At the top I have this button click me. The moment when I will click on this button I will get this message because right now it's enabled. So let's select this disable option. You can see the button is grayed out and it is completely disabled. If I'll try to click, it will not work. Let me click on enable, then click on the button. You can see it's working. So this is what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's create an index file here. It will be index.html. Let's have a basic HTML structure. Link to the style sheet. A script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Let's have one button here. Text will be click me. Let's have one div element. Inside this div element, we need two radio buttons. So we'll utilize the label element first. Make it enable. And here we'll use the input element that will be type radio. Name will be option. ID will be enable. Also, value will be enabled. Simply copy and paste it. Let's make it disable. Same goes here. Save it. Let's create a style sheet here. Style.css. Let's select the body element. Text line will be center. Select the button element. Padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. Margin bottom will be around 20 pixels. Border will be none. Border radius will be around 20 pixels. Background color will be green. Font color will be white. Font weight will be bold and cursor will be pointer. In case the button is disabled, we'll change the background color to gray color. So let's utilize the disabled pseudo class here and set the background color gray. Let's open this file in the browser to see the output. Okay, I think I skipped the text part. So here it should be enable and here it should be disable. Save it. Perfect. Now let's work on the script file. Create script.js here. Let's select the button first. So it will be document.query selector and the button element. It's time to select the radio buttons. So let's make it enable element we'll select by the id copy and paste it let's make it disable same goes here in case of a button element we will add a click event listener so when a user will click on the button element we will display a alert message Let's make it hello world. In case of the radio buttons, we'll add a change event listener. Simply copy and paste it and make it disable. Now in case the enable option is selected, will enable the button for that we need to set the disable property of the button element to false just copy and paste it in case of disabled we'll set it to true also by default this enable option will be checked save it let's go to browser click on the button now let's disable it 
you can see it is disabled and you cannot click on it let's enable it again and click it's working i hope you got the point how it actually works in the next video have a nice day